welcome to my home studio. Um, in this video I'm just going to show you around the equipment I have. Um, also if you have any questions about any of the gear I have don't be afraid to uh, ask and I'll see if I can post the review it for you as soon as I can. Um, okay, we'll start off with the uh, main piece of equipment in my studio. This is the computer. Um, this is the uh, 27 inch iMac. This is the uh, 2.8 gigahertz i7 version with 8 gigs of RAM. Uh, I'll just show you here. There we go. Um, a big step up from my last computer. I had a, uh, a Core 2 Duo 2 gigahertz uh, MacBook with uh, 4 gigs of RAM. So this is a nice step up for me. Um, also, for my studio monitors, I have the KRK RP5s. Um, good monitors for the price, £300 brand new, uh, that was two years ago. Um, I am looking to upgrade however to um, bigger speakers. Um, the 5 inch drivers and these speakers don't really give me enough low end. Um, so yeah. Also, I have the Focusrite Sapphire Pro 40 interface. Um, great interface in its class, um, great for its price. Um, took me a long time to decide actually which interface I wanted um, it was a mix between either this one or the Motu 8 Pre um, the reason I chose this one was uh, it has some nice features such as the uh, monitor and dim switches here and um, also I have used Focusrite before and I know that their preamps are solid, I know they're transparent and I know they have very good um, AD to DA conversion as well also um, in my studio I have the M Audio Axiom 61. This is a MIDI keyboard controller. Um, very, very good. I've had this since I uh, started building my studio two years ago. Um, I don't think I'll ever need another one. Uh, even if this breaks, I'll just go out and buy another one. <laughs> um, the main selling point of this keyboard for me is the semi weighted keys. Um, great if you want to track piano parts, uh, which is primarily what I bought this for. Um, hence why I got the 61 key version. Um, also good for, I prefer the uh, the uh, semi-weighted action to be honest, even when I'm uh, recording synth bass lines or synth lead lines and stuff like that. Um, it's got transport controls, 8 rotary uh, knobs, it's also got 9 faders and 9 buttons here. Um, you can also save presets here into banks. Um, You've got your modulation, your pitch bend, your octave selection, and you've also got eight drum pads. Uh, these drum pads are great, actually. Uh, I have used um, the both the MPD and the MPC style drum pads, and I just prefer these. Um, the, they're much more velocity sensitive to me. You don't have to slam the pad down to trigger the sample. Um, you know, even just touching it lightly and then slowly getting harder, you can tell um, that the pads are a lot more sensitive. Um, so yeah, that's the controller. Uh, in terms of microphones, um, I only have one, and uh, this is primarily because I don't feel the need to sing in a lot of my songs, I prefer to just compose music. Um, however, if I do have tracks that I feel require vocals, then um, I do use this microphone here. Um, it's not the best microphone at all, um, it doesn't do uh, wonders to my voice here, it doesn't really complement it at all, um, just helps bring out a lot of the sibilience, which isn't good. <laughs> um, even with the pop shield, it doesn't really help at all. Um, I usually have to uh, do some strong DSing in order to get my vocals to sound all right. Uh, what else have we got here? You've also got um, this is my external hard drive. Um, this is actually rubbish. Um, I am looking forward to getting a new one. I should be getting a new one soon. Um, this currently is uh, just a standard uh, 2.0 USB external hard drive. Um, this is what I am uh, running my projects off and recording my audio to. Um, I am hoping to get a, uh, a, a three drive by um, glyph hard drive, um, the rack mountable one, which will sit nicely in this rack here. Um, I am also looking to get um, an SSL alpha channel um, pre, that should be nice as well. Um, so yeah, also my studio. I have um, quite a few plugins. Uh, I know you can work straight out of the box with Logic, which is great, you know. That's primarily what I bought it for. But um, I've been fortunate enough to be able to afford some uh, really great plugins over this last year. So um, give me a second, I'll just zoom out and I'll let you have a look. Okay, so as you can see, I'm running Logic Studio here. 
Um, I used to be a Cubase user, but um, to be honest, uh, Logic Studio is just it's the whole package. It's a great compositional tool straight out the box. You can just get right in there, get your hands dirty and use it. Um, great mixing tool, has some great features. I also love the layout um, with the mixer, etc. Um, very easy to use. Love the program. Um, okay, here are my plugins. Uh, as you can see, uh, I don't have a lot of plugins, but you know, uh, I really believe that if you have the knowledge and if you have the skill, um, the studio skills, you don't have to have a million and one plugins to be able to create good music. Um, learn what you have and learn it well, and you will be able to produce good results. That's my philosophy. Okay, uh, here we have on this view. We also have Superior Drummer, and we also have four plugins from the T Rack 3 Deluxe Suite. Um, I do have the whole suite, um, but uh, these are the four main plugins that I use. Um, this is the uh, the uh, Fairchild 670 compressor. This is great, really nice for um, a drum bus if you're sticking on your drum bus. Very nice, very nice. Add some good coloration. Um, we have the multiband limiter here. We have the linear phase EQ. And we also have the Poltec EQ. This is, again, a really nice um, plug in here. Uh, all these plugins are actually my go-to plugins um, for th things like vocals, drums. Um, yeah, really good. Um, so yeah, uh, that's my studio basically, guys, in a nutshell. Um, if you have any questions about the gear I have, um, or if you'd like me to make a review on any of the stuff that you've seen in this video, then uh, just leave a comment below and um, I'll try and get those reviews done for you as soon as possible. Also, uh, if you'd like to hear um, any of the music that comes out of the studio, then uh, please go and take a look at www.sonicproductions.com. Um, it's just a website where I host all my music, um, all my remix projects I've done for other artists, um, client work as well. So yeah, um, don't hesitate to go and have a look there. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Thanks a lot for checking out my video. Um, I'll be back soon with some more videos. If you guys have any questions, like I said earlier, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks for watching.